health and wellness coach specializing in nutrition from bloodhappy.com and today I'm making a coffee culotta just like one if you've ever been to Dunkin Donuts and you had that coffee culotta you know that thing is addicting before I knew I had my caffeine allergy I used to sit my mother's when I was younger and it tasted so good and I, you just can't get enough of it and then you break out in hives and then you're like okay why is this happening to me so instead I found my own coffee alternative you're welcome to use coffee but I'm using dandy blend this stuff is amazing it smells just like coffee tastes just like coffee it's unbelievable to me I love it I mean I love the smell of fresh brew and coffee I just can't enjoy it like everybody else and in moderation it's not that bad for you I'm even though I'm in nutrition I'm not completely against it, although if you're pregnant, I really, you really shouldn't have a lot of it, especially the caffeine content's not good, it can make for a colicky baby. But the point is, is all things in moderation are okay, and the key to a healthy diet is moderation, variety, and balance. So if you have coffee every now and then, that's fine. If you're addicted and have it five times a day, you need to call me. You need to call me, you need to go to bloodhappy.com, let's schedule a nutritional consultation, okay? But I'll help you get through your, your addiction. Any addiction, actually, on a serious note. Anyway, the, this is actually made with extracts of barley, rye, turkey root, dandelion root, and sugar beet. It has 7 calories, 0 fat, 0 sodium, not even a gram of carbohydrate, it's like 0.8, and 0.1 gram of protein. So it does have not like bad nutritional value but it doesn't really have a whole lot of nutritional value but it's made from roots from the earth which is much better than the coffee bean that's been broken down and processed. There's actually a 10 step long process to coffee making which you have to appreciate. I very much do and I actually got to see the coffee beans when I visited El Salvador. It was really cool to see how they made it. But you know, the, back to the DND root. This isn't from the coffee beans, so it has no caffeine, and it's a natural supplement, really. It's technically kind of a supplement here. So the thing is that it's not acidic either, and that's the thing about coffee after it's been broken down. It's very acidic to your system, and that's why in Argentina, where I travel to, every time they serve you coffee, they actually give you a mineral water on the side to help alkalize your body, since the coffee is so acidic. Anyway, that's Dandy Blend, and today's video is sponsored by So Delicious. Thank you so much, So Delicious, for sending me your new product line. They have a coconut milk creamer. This is French vanilla. Honestly, no joke, hands down, the best creamer I've ever had. And I'm not even a coffee drinker because of my co coffee and caffeine allergy, but this stuff is incredible, and that's when I decided. I'm going to blend it with a dandy blend and make a coffee culotta. And then we have the coconut milk, they have unsweetened vanilla, and now they have a sugar-free milk. And this is 45 calories per serving, it's sugar-free, it has healthy fat, we do need some saturated fats, that's okay to have a fat content. Everybody gets so scared of cat, but it's a, uh, a fat, but it's a macronutrient, protein, carbohydrates, and fat lipids okay that's okay it's a healthy one this one too this is 45 calories as well and this one's just an unsweetened vanilla and so this one has zero sugars as well this one does too I don't know why they're just calling it sugar free it's not like they really even added in here it's just got vanilla extract in this one this one's just a plain flavor but this dairy free coconut creamer First of all, you can barely even taste that it's coconutty. This one only has four grams of sugar, but guess what? Calories, 20, and this is per one tablespoon. Zero fat, zero saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium. Four grams of carbohydrates, that's equals 1%. No fiber, but and no protein. So it does, however, have some nutritional value with the fact that it's coconut, and it has a pea protein in it. So they sometimes if it's not enough, they can't claim one or two percent for protein. Regardless, let's get started. So I have my so delicious. You can use any type of milk base you want. You're gonna add first. We're gonna add it. You can blend it up. You add a tablespoon. I'm gonna do it this way first because I like my. And look, it's instant. 
it literally just dissolves right in here. Look at that. That's amazing. I like mine pretty coffee flavored and after I add the creamer I'm sure going to need a little bit more. So one and a half tablespoons. And you, like I said, you don't have to mix it since the blender will do it for you. I just wanted to do some pre-taste testing. So now I'm going to add my coffee mix with your regular milk. And the reason we don't want to just do purely this creamer is because it's going to be a little too sweet because this vanilla flavor, the French vanilla, tastes amazing, but we don't want to overdo it. So you're going to open that and I'm going to add about a half cup of the creamer. I could seriously drink this straight. Take a little sip. Mm, that is good. Oh, I've got my half cup. Feel free to make coffee flavors like caramel if you have like a moaning caramel syrup or cocoa, like a little cocoa powder. That'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna keep it plain right now though. And now I'm gonna add my ice cubes. You want it really icy. I mean, we're making a, like a slushy here. If you haven't even had a coffee colada from Dunkin' Donuts, you are missing out a little bit. Not that I should really promote Dunkin' Donuts, especially since there's donuts. Bad, fatty cakes, bad, 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 bad. Anyway, so I want this slushy. And here it goes. I'm gonna blend it and I'll show you the consistency after. And if you have your blend tech blender, then you want to hit ice crushed milkshake or you can do ice cream frozen yogurt that one's similar if you want it a little thicker but I'm going to do ice crushed and milkshake and here we are we have the coffee culotta although I probably shouldn't call it that that's probably trademarked but see it's got its slushiness its iciness I'll come and show you this is what it looks like Thick, amazing, put a straw on it and sip away. So here it goes. Mmm. Perfect. Midway through, I even added another half tablespoon. So that equal two tablespoons because I wanted a little more coffee flavored with a hint of the sweetness. It turns out perfect. It's got icy and it's the perfect summer refreshing beverage. Mmm. Especially if you want something sweet, something to wake you up. Even just the taste, your senses are just awakened by it because we think coffee, alertness, awake, here we go. And now I have my mock coffee blend, my blended iced coffee. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate every view I get. And for more updates and videos and to see future videos on my new product line and my book, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out blendhappy.com for more recipes. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.